Once a month or so, we invite Karen McSherry to slip some goodies and gadgets out of her gourmet warehouse and bring them to Studio 4 when Madonna sings a few songs at Super Bowl. Well, halftime at Super Bowl. <laughs> or if George Clooney wins Best Actor at, at next month's Oscars, you'll be able to dazzle your guests with fun food. Karen is the owner-operator of the Gourmet Warehouse, and she is a creative chef, and she's a cookbook author and a teacher. It is my pleasure to welcome Karen McSherry back to Studio 4 to tell and show us more. Lots of treats today. Goodies galore. How are you? I'm Trey Well. You too? Good. Well, we always see each other at our one of our favorite restaurants. I know, the Mangia Bevy. We do so. Eat and drink. We, we like do. to do that. We do that well. That's a good restaurant. It is very good. One of West Van's finest. So I, I thought that we'd split it up because I think that if you're going to have an Oscar party, you're kind of being a little bit more swishy because it is a swishier affair. Well, We're let's looking hope. at the, you know, the tiaras and the gowns and everything. Mm -hmm. So for Oscar... And the bad outfits. Don't and the forget. Bad, I like... I like to see that too. Yeah. So for the Oscar, I thought it would be a little bit glitzy. These are incredibly cute. As you say, weeknight martinis. Weeknight martinis. I call them school nights. Yeah. If you have to work the next day, you have one of these. Yes. If it's a Friday night. You have a big one. You might be able to have a couple more shots. But those are darling. So they're they're not so much for martini as they are to present. So if you wanted to do a little bit of a seared scallop in one or or, mm. or skewer some prawns and put them in there with the sauce in the bottom, um, you could do a little baby martini drink. That would be really fun too. Sure. So they're, they're very versatile. They're good for lots of things and they're incredibly right. inexpensive. Well, not with my friends. They would not tolerate a martini in that size no. of glass. But it they're fun. It just wouldn't be allowed. No. No. And it's but like they're fun under, and, and under how Dollars and, and and so cute. So I you love can have those. fun with stuff like that. Sure you can. You um, can put chocolate pudding in them if you wanted to. And then Maybe. we've got a little individual uh, fondues for two. So you would have little mini marshmallows, maybe bananas, some you know skewers like cubes of, of sponge cake or something, and then just melt your chocolate and off you go. Okay, and that's so an that's easy dessert. dessert. That would be a great dessert because right, you're glued. You don't mm -hmm. want to move. No, so you, you don't. want everything all prepared. So these are really cute. They're really fun, and I think that works. For sure. And you, I don't want people to talk when I'm watching those events because no. I like to hear what people say. Of course, now we have PBRs and stuff, so mm -hmm. we can run it back. So a great company that's in Vancouver called um, Culinary Papers. Um, you you want to have your meal ready. You want to get everything ready so that you can watch the rollout red carpet at 3.30. That's mm -hmm. the best part. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be up and running and jumping. So you, there's, a, there's a terminology in... In, in cooking called un papillot. And back in the day, you'd have to cut the circle out, pinch it and seal it and make sure that it worked. So right now, you can do un papillot in a bag like this. So essentially, you put your onions in there, your carrots, your celery, which we call a mirepoix, and then you would put a nice piece of halibut or cod mm. or sea bass, and you would season it. You put it in, a little bit of wine in there for moisture. You close the bag up, like so. You put it on a cookie sheet in your in your oven and you bake it. And when you cut it open, your whole meal mm, is right how there. Great. And you're sitting there in front of the TV, not moving, and mm -hmm. it's all done. And you in don't a day. have to wet the bag. No. No, it, the it bag cooks. will not catch a fire. It's parchment, so it won't it's catch parchment. fire. Parchment. You can do the thing, and it's ooh la la, isn't it? So you it's can do very salmon academies. and chicken. Very academies. Mm -hmm. and or Screen Actors Guild, for that matter. I was trying to think of a way to prepare your dinner that's elegant. Right. Before your time and okay. then we have some great seasoned olives mm, and love then seasoned if you, olives sometimes if, you heat them yes i think i remember yes, that yes i did once you told me to heat the olives and they really become fragrant and mm. stuff so you we're now kind of pushing on through so you can if it's super bowl you can leave them in the dish like that <laughs> if it's Oscar party, you put them in the little sure, dishes. in the little trendy dishes. Uh, very cute. Hey, and those are there are pits in those? No. No, They're these pitted. are pitless. Harlequin Bellezou. And then Green and purple <clears throat> and red pepper and herbs de Provence. And All those the are good very, stuff. Those are awfully snazzy for Super Bowl. Mm. We're more kind of wings and burgers, yeah. you know. So colorful little bowls. Um, I think I left two on the other side, but they're all different color shapes like that. Ooh. If it was the Academy's, a little mac and cheese with maybe lobster on top. Mm -hmm. um, if it's Super Bowl, chili. Sure. Or if you in just... In the individual. I like in, that. Isn't that cute? And it's all ready. You put it, pop it in the oven, you bring it out, and your chili's all there. You have garlic toast on the mm -hmm. side. And or if you don't want to do that, get your favorite snacks. 
and dress everything up. So we've got a little Mumbai mix. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, what, of course. How could you not have sunflower seeds with bacon flavor? Well, that's hilarious. Isn't that hilarious? Sizzling bacon, sunflower seeds. And you know, when you drive long distances, you should always have sunflower. I've, always. I've heard this from my friend. Put them in the ashtray. Yes. They still have ashtrays in cars. I think I they think, do. Yeah. And uh, eat them. Like eat sunflower seeds mm -hmm. across the country. It keeps you awake. Okay, because you're busy spitting the pits out. Exactly. So those, I don't know about bacon. bacon. Isn't that salt. crazy? But everybody's bacon now. Everyone I is guess, bacon. I guess because there's bacon and chocolate and bacon and this and Pancake bacon mix, and that. Everything. So if you wanted okay, to tone it down or you make say. it cute. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are from Holland. They're um, a cheese biscuit done with real Gruyere cheese. They're delicious. Mm. So that kind of just dresses it up a little bit. Exactly. You know, it makes it cute. And these so, pots are great. You could melt they're, cheese in these you pots, could. couldn't you? And you could do a little baby fondue. Exactly. And they're not as expensive as, as the Le Creuset, I'm Four ninety nine. dollars See, because those Le Creuset pots are about... Yeah, they're a little bit pot. more, but at four ninety nine, that's fun. No, that's fun. And you can dress your party up. Exactly. And then, of course, if you wanted to have a fancy drink, these are wild hibiscus flowers in syrup. So oh. you take the hibiscus flower out, you drop it into your champagne glass, and then you could either pour prosecco over top or sparkling wine or whatever your fancy over is. Over wild hibiscus and flowers it, in and, syrup. And the whole thing goes oh. pink, and it's beautiful. And it's lovely, so that I'm would sure. be fun. Well, we have to tell David Wallowitnick at the West Bar because he makes those cocktails. He makes his own syrups. Exactly. But now, why if you not have that no syrup? time and you uh -huh. want pizza, mm -hmm. we now have four mm -hmm. signature pizzas at the Gourmet Warehouse. We have the spinach and pine nut. We you mean I can buy these made? Made, and all you, they come in a two pack. They're individually oh. um, wrapped so that you don't need to thaw them both. You bake them in 13 minutes. You have sizzling hot gourmet mm. pizzas, very reasonably priced. There's margarita. There's mm. uh, the wild mushroom, spinach, and um, pine nuts, and four cheese. Four cheese pizza. Always and have to have a four cheese that? pizza. Well, for an individual dinner or to throw out to your guests, great Super Bowl. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Super Bowl and then Are you an NFL fan? I always start I'm a I'm a bandstand fan, I'm sorry. Okay, well you, I know. you can watch I, can Madonna. Can I still come over? You can watch you can come over. We always have a giant party. We get and a little carried away. I but like I giant see I'm parties. a 49ers fan, so it's a little tough for me. So you're not a, a, a Well I like bears. the Bears. Show. I like the Pats. So Chicago. The Bears aren't playing. I know, but we could talk about okay. this. <laughs> it's a Chicago cheese mix. It's popcorn um, in a cheese mix. Look at that. And oh it's my. all natural popcorn with cheddar and three different cheeses, and it's great. Mm. It's a little alternative to popcorn, so that's good for Super but Bowl But it's really too. popcorn. It is popcorn. All natural, all naturally. All natural. From yes. The, from the Chicago. <laughs> well, and uh, then, the Chicago's not playing either. And then in a pinch, little party shells, you could put anything in. You could put okay. lemon curd. You could put a little bit of antipasto. Mm. You could put whatever you like, sweet, savory. So are and they, it's are all those done. savory shells? They're, they're just, they're, they're a neutral shell. So you could Which put, means, means that there's, they're not sweet okay. or savory. They'll go in between. So they, they're not fill. flavored with garlic or basil. They're not flavored with sugar or lavender. Okay. They're neutral. So it's a tartlet. A tartlet. A mini tartlet. Yes. Can you put it in the oven? You can bake them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. so all fine. What if you didn't bake them? You Still could then, fine. You could put cream cheese, smoked salmon, dill in. Mm. You could do anything like that. Okay. So that's so easy. Quick I'm trying to easy. make it easy so that you can Absolutely. watch the game and the Oscars all in one. I know. Well, we have to get into our outfits. I know. I have a jersey. Can I tell you a little yes. bit about an event that I'm doing for uh, the inner city kids for Strathcona Backpack Program? Of course. It is Calibo Chocolate um, is the largest manufacturer of chocolate in the world, good chocolate. Yes. So they do the Cocoa Berry mm -hmm. brand and they do mm -hmm. Calibo. They have come to me with a partnership to do a chocolate challenge. So I am throwing this challenge out to your viewers and all the people in the Lower Mainland, wherever you are, to submit to the Gourmet Warehouse your best chocolate dessert. Rob Feeney, 
Thomas mm. Haas and Greg Hook from Chocolate Arts, who are, right. is an ambassador for Calibo, will be the judges on March the 29th at the Gourmet Warehouse. Oh, great. And they're top of the line judges. Top of the line. Hello. And this is... So the, don't send in your not-so-good no. chocolate recipe. And it's for culinary students. It's for home cooks. It's not for Thomas to submit a dessert, of no, course. No, of course not. He's out of the competition. No, he's out. But the, the incredible part is all the funds. We've got a great big culinary silent auction, which is massive. Oh, and can we all come? And you can all come. It's a $50 buy-in because right, it's going because to be it's a chocolate fundraiser. night fundraiser. And the best part is the grand prize winner we are at seven thousand dollars in counting for the first prize winner for this. So it's not a little no. chicken event. No, chicken this and is, egg event. No, it's no, the no. real thing. It's a chocolate event. So there'll be ten finalists the night of the finale, and then the judges will pick three, and then the drum roll: third, second, first. Oh, fantastic! Sounds like fun. Thank you. Thank I'll be, you. I'll be thinking about my chocolate. You maybe, could enter. Maybe I'll bring my wacky cake. Okay, do that. Oh. Okay, Karen McSherry from the Gourmet Warehouse. Remember, you can catch all of our conversations on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at Fanny Studio 4 and on.